In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, heard a voice from heaven speak to me. Here are my two witnesses. These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands that stand before the Lord of the earth. If anyone wants to harm them, fire comes out of their mouths and devours their enemies. In this way, anyone wanting to harm them is sure to be slain. They have the power to close up the sky so that no rain can fall during the time of their prophesying. They also have power to turn water into blood and to afflict the earth with any plague as often as they wish. When they have finished their testimony, the beast that comes up from the abyss will wage war against them and conquer them and kill them. Their corpses will lie in the main street of the great city which has the symbolic names Sodom and Egypt, where indeed their Lord was crucified. Those from every people, tribe, tongue, and nation will gaze on their corpses for three and a half days, and they will not allow their corpses to be buried. The inhabitants of the earth will gloat over them and be glad and exchange gifts, because these two prophets tormented the inhabitants of the earth. But after the three and a half days, a breath of life from God entered them. When they stood on their feet, great fear fell on those who saw them. Then they heard a loud voice from heaven say to them, Come up here. So they went up to heaven in a cloud as their enemies looked on. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock who trains my hands for battle, my fingers for war. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, my mercy and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust, who subdues my people under me. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. O God, I will sing a new song to you. With a ten-stringed lyre, I will chant your praise. You who give victory to kings and deliver David, your servant, from the evil sword. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Spirit of God be in my Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Sadducees, those who deny that there is a resurrection, came forward and put this question to Jesus, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us, if someone's brother dies leaving a wife but no child, his brother must take the wife and raise up descendants for his brother. Now, there were seven brothers, the first married a woman, but died childless. Then the second and the third married her, and likewise all seven died childless. Finally, the woman also died. Now at the resurrection, whose wife will that woman be? For all seven had been married to her. Jesus said to them, The children of this age marry and remarry, but those who are deemed worthy to attain to the coming age and to the resurrection of the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage. They can no longer die, for they are like angels, and they are the children of God, because they are the ones who will rise. 
that the dead will rise, even Moses made known in the passage about the bush, when he called Lord, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And he is not God of the dead, but of the living, for to him all are alive. Some of the scribes said in reply, Teacher, you have answered well. And they no longer dare to ask him anything. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our gospel passage today comes at a time when the Sadducees, as well as Pharisees and chief priests, were at a point when they had had enough of Jesus and his message. They wanted to kill him, but he had the ear and the support of the people. So the leaders believed that they couldn't kill him. The questions they began to pose him were an attempt to get him to blaspheme, giving them a reason to put him to death. They were trying to get him to mess things up for himself. They had an agenda hidden within their questioning. We too often have an agenda when we go to Jesus, and usually it's something that we want, something that we want to change, or something about our life or our faith that we don't like. Sometimes, without really intending to, that agenda can go against Jesus' message and even the nature of God. In our prayer, We should ask God for help with things, for change, for answers, but that prayer needs to be offered with a truly open heart, open mind, and open soul that our agenda may take a backseat or even disappear completely so that God's agenda may become our agenda. With faith and trust in God's mercy and goodness, we now turn to him with these, our prayers of petition that a greater number of Christians may play a more active role in church life. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer, that our present age may not be deprived of the voice of the prophet. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer, for the underprivileged in our communities, that they may be recognized as brothers and sisters of Jesus and treated accordingly. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer for ourselves, that we may grow closer together in the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for Richard F. Castantine, for whom this Mass is offered as he celebrates his birthday. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all those who have died and gone before us marked with the sign of faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those confined to their homes due to age or illness, for those in nursing facilities or hospitals, for those who care for them, and for all those intentions we now offer from the silence of our hearts. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear the prayers that we bring before you this day. Guide our thoughts and actions that we may always be instruments of your peace to those we meet. And we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. 
Grant, O Lord, we pray that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. On you stay, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tollis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Amen.